water air land fire and the sky are the five fundamental elements of the earth in the eastern cultures they are commonly referred to as the panchabhutas or the five elements the same elements which are responsible for the fact that we are able to live on the planet in a healthy way also can cause disasters when they go overboard and impact the world in a much larger way we call them tsunamis we call them forest fires we call them earthquakes we call them cyclones how the cyclones are named gaja varda nisarga nivar katrina have you ever wondered why are we adding names to all these cyclones who adds them and how they are being added we are coming up with all the answers for the questions on your mind in this video first let us try to understand why cyclones are named according to the imd the india meteorological department situated in new delhi india the practice of naming tropical cyclones began years ago in order to help in the quick identification of storms in warning messages because names are presumed to be far easier to remember than the numbers and technical terms many agree that adding names to storms makes it easier for the media to report on tropical cyclones heightens interest in warnings and increases community preparedness well there are so many reasons in real time why we add names to all the cyclones the first one it helps us to identify each and every cyclone separately independently for example let's say if you are someone who are based out of tamil nadu india and if i say the name nivar to you you will be able to distinctly identify the effect of the nivar cyclone in the year 2020 or if you are someone who's based out of the united states of america and if i say the name katrina to you you will be able to identify the year 2005 and the kind of impact that the specific cyclone had across the united states second it helps the public to be fully aware of its development now because of the scientific advancements we are able to predict we are able to anticipate um the cyclone ever since its development right so hence it is quite easy for us quite easy for the public to track the progress of the development of the cyclone and hence the name becomes really 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 crucial third it helps the local and the international media well i don't think i need to actually explain this any further right you know the amount of coverage that the cyclone receives during Uh, ever since the time of its development and during its landfall pre and the post cyclonic times so for the media to identify and to take the news to a lot of people the cyclone names are crucial again the fourth and the most important aspect of naming a cyclone is that it helps us to avoid confusion even if there is another cyclone that's coming pretty closer to the time right for example um let's say the new cyclone is happening on this week and the next week we are anticipating another cyclone we don't necessarily confuse the both right because we have independent names for all the cyclones and the most interesting fact is that the cyclone names are not repeated right once a name is used for a specific cyclone it's not being used again so hence it's quite interesting the fifth and the final thing the warnings reach a lot of people like for example not everyone will have access to technology not everyone will be technically updated right but the cyclone name associated with the name when it goes back to the audience they are able to connect it quite easily the general public is able to connect it quite quite easily and does it reaches to a lot of intended target audience and hence it is super important that the cyclones are being named and being identified separately by the wider audience Now let us come to the interesting part how exactly the cyclones are named There are so many cyclones that occur in the world in the year 2020 there are around 124 cyclones that happened so far all around the globe 
the tropical cyclones over the north indian ocean are handled by the following countries bangladesh india iran maldives myanmar oman pakistan qatar saudi arabia sri lanka thailand united arab emirates and the yemen a total of 13 countries which share the coastline of the northern part of the indian ocean now all the countries submit a list of the names from their side for naming the cyclones on behalf of their country and an overall list is prepared with all the nominations received from the different countries then using the same list as an order the cyclones are being named For example the cyclone Niver which very recently had its landfall at the coastal areas of Tamil Nadu is named after the nomination of Iran and as we expect the next cyclone again on the bay of Bengal area in the first week of December we already know the name of the cyclone in case it happens now this is the time for Maldives and the cyclone will be called Burevi Tokte from Myanmar, Yas from Oman, Gulab from Pakistan are the next three names of the cyclones after Burevi. The cyclones cause an enormous damage to the human lives as well as property. For example, the cyclone Katrina which shook the United States of America in the year 2005 has caused an damage of worth 160 billion US dollars which in Indian rupees is equivalent to 1,82,928 crores of Indian rupees. Now this is the kind of impact that the cyclones are creating in our lives. Thankful to the growth of science and technology that today we are able to predict the cyclones as early as possible. Those cyclones are a natural disaster. The climatic change that's happening in the world contributes to them to making them much more stronger. Hence we could take up very small efforts to support green to be gentle to the planet that we are living in and support all other organisms to live happily as well. Let's commit to that and make it happen. Thank you for watching this video.